There, welcome to another Rickroyd video. So at this stage, we're going to put these big two steels up there to form the openings for the bifold doors, and then the wall plate will rest straight on top. So this, better off, I show you this one. Come on, here. So what's happened? The steel company only made this steel to that bit originally. So the external block work that was to go here wouldn't fit. So we had to get them to weld another plate underneath to rectify it. So in doing that, originally they left this gap out for the vertical stanchion to fit underneath. But when it's gone back to the, the workshop, they've just put that plate right the way through. So now on site, I've got to do this. So come over here, Fred. So I've, got to cut, I've cut that out. Um, the stanchion will fit in now, and then the brickwork will fit over here on top of that. So pain in the ass, but do you know what? Let's just get on with it. We've got two genies here to give us hand. And we've got a third genie over there by the name of Nigel. He's, he's our mate, he's coming again and uh, give us hand. So stay tuned. Right, we got it set up now, look. So put you into full perspective. Uh, I wanted this plate welded to the end of there. So there's now six mils. So if I put that on there, then it's going to rock. So what I've done, I don't know if you can see, let's zoom you in a bit more. Right on top of there, look, you can see the plate on top of there that I've cut 200 mil bearing and the width of the steel so it doesn't rock. It's all a pain in the ass. So that's done. That bit's done. That's all cut out. So what we've done with this, look, on the plan it says that these, these stanchions have got to fit on top of the footing. So that's the concrete foundation there. So we shuttered that off. All the DPM and all the insulation will just be tucked in so we can get the anchor bolts, the chemical fixings into there. So that's in. This one's in. And what we're doing now, we're just checking to see what we're like for level coming across from there to there. So I'll, look, I'll leave it there for eight. That's not bad, is it? Yeah, the good thing is we're on, um, we've built it up a little bit as well in there, the feet of the saw. So yeah, we're we've also got to put that um, plate on there as well, yeah? So we're within the vicinity of where we need to be, aren't we? Yeah, sure. So if we check that one over there as well, mm -hmm. see what that one is like, if you wouldn't mind. Right, so we got the, we got the plate, let me show you. we got the plate on that side, look, for that packing up underneath the steel like I showed you. This one's ever so slightly low, so it's not a problem. We just pack up underneath. Well, by the time you put your plate on top of you as well. Well, there is no plate going that side. Oh, it fits underneath, doesn't it? Fits underneath. Yeah. yeah. So there we go. All right. Right. So we're going to put you on a time lapse. What you'll see is us lifting this up and getting it on top. We're going to put the genies up both together, lift it up on top, and then we got a number of screws then, which screw it all up and we've got fish plates to, to splice them together. So you'll see all this. Right, so at this point now, we got the 200 mil bearing on there. I've marked that up. I put a line on the wall there, as you can see, that black sharpie line, 200 mil bearing. I got the plate underneath, otherwise it would rock. Got that sorted. I got the screws in there, and we're just in the process now of tightening the screws up. And then this thing will just be hanging in mid-air until we pack it all up, plumb it all up, prop it up and drill it and anchor it into the floor with uh, with the rele relevant bolts. So, yeah, that's the stage we're at so far. Next stage, once we've done that, is you can now see the holes in here, look, and the holes in this steel will come across 
and we've got a fish plate will go in there and then the same principle of what we've done here will happen here and we just got to make sure it's level and it's plumb and it's lineable and it's square and then um, yeah happy days so there we are we concreted that in yesterday this is the this is the state of play right so yesterday we just we, we got that bearing on there 200 mil screwed it all up plumbed it all up made sure it was all lineable from left to right um, concreted it in put all the insulation on the vertical and on the horizontal dpm concrete left the genie up overnight um, that's set now overnight Five forty mil gap. So what we can do, we get it into where we want it, and then we can shimmy it to the left. Then can't we? It's gotta go in a bit more, yeah. Oh, a bit more now. This way. Yeah, you're about like eight. That's it. Absolutely bang on the menu. That is. Nigel's good there as well. So if we can just close this gap. Yeah. We can get these fish plates on then and then we're uh we can't they can we like um no this is gonna have to be gentle 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 close yeah you're about ten mil oh is it almost there yeah I can feel it touching no it's not I've got the hit there now. Go on. Oh. Hang on, stay there, stay there. Come back a um, bit. Can we... Can we, can we pull... Uh, we, need to, we still need to come this way. Yeah. Hang on. Come on. Ready? Yeah. Let's feel it, touch it. Yeah, it's gone too far in now, haven't we? Yeah, so just trying to get the steel, as you can see there, to, to touch and to line up so I can get these uh, these fish plates on and then uh, that'll tie that together and then the next thing is to get that bolted on and we can rest it on the uh, pad stone up there and square it up and we're good to go. So this is the next bit, let's get that right first. It's going in. It's happening. So we got the, after a lot of pushing and pulling and prodding and swearing and cursing, we managed to get that all lined up. Absolutely perfect. Ratcheted up. It's all tight. 
that's done both sides now we're on to uh we're on to this we've got to get this plate screwed up into there it shouldn't be too much of a problem and then we've got to concrete this down here um let me just show you this is what a laser level comes in handy for that's absolutely bob on there can't get much better than that so that laser level i bought put the pad stone on laser level that so that pad stone over there all that's bob on level nigel's the carpenter how happy are you that being level right um pretty happy yeah yeah no packing up a wall plate and messing about Good. say thank you to the bricklayers thank you to the steel fixers <laughs> Right, so we got our um, anchor bolts down in there, screw to the concrete, some concrete already in, and we've got our insulation in there. I'll lap all that DPM over the top now and encase it, overlap it, and then it'll just be concrete in the top section. And that's that, uh, that's that stanchion in, done. There we are, let's get some concrete in there now. There we go, all cemented, insulated, DPC'd. Get your 25 in insulation going right the way through. So I can build on there now. 75 mil a brick. One of these commons on there, it'll take me up the damp proof course. And I'm away again. I can build around these now next. A bit of brickwork pillars around them. Here's the other one. That's done yesterday, that's all set. There we are, bit of a milestone for us because we did them steals, we can go back and watch the video for that. Might even leave a little link in the up there for you to, to click on. So yeah, we did those steals, and as you can see, that building is all leaning that way, so it was a bloody nightmare, but we took all that down and put the steals in, did that. All these steals, you'll have one door, two door, three by four doors opening out. That's all in, brick column there next. And uh, it's over to the roofers, to the carpenters, to uh, do their magic on the roof, which will probably up be an up-and-coming video. So if you've liked the video, please like and subscribe. Give us a share and uh, hit that subscribe button as help us out. Really appreciate it. Very much to Nigel for coming in and give us hand as usual. He's a good mate of ours. And um, see you soon. Ta-da. Here we go. I thought I'd show you... What it's look like with all the uh with all the block work attached to it now i've got self tappers and put wall ties in there and i've put a course of brick across the top and some insulation that's that side and that's the inside so yeah we had to cut the cut out for the what was going to be a full block and i've put block work in there tied it all in again with self tappers and wall ties wall plates are on but they're not fixed we haven't put the uh, straps on or anything yet all the cavity closures are on so yeah, that's it, all ready for the roof to go on.